Hi guys, Machine here for Yahoo Esports. We're doing some interviews with none other than the beardless Edward. Mate, you got rid of the beard. We have to start with this. What do you mean it hurts? Uh, I, you, you know, I just felt that uh, it's going to be the right decision to shave beard. Yeah. That's it. That was it. That was it. Did you, were you just looking in the mirror like, Major Edward, no beard Edward. That was it. Was that the decision? New Edward. Just new Edward. New Edward. And it's a new Navi as well. Like, I mean, like, everyone kind of said, don't sleep on Navi. And you guys have kind of, you've basically started. We started, oh, look, here we go. During the interview, we started by talking about Astralis. We said, these guys are going to be big dogs. That was Dupree. And now, Ed, and then, and now Navi turned up, throw the gauntlet down. You don't drop 10 rounds in any of your games, 3-0. I mean, did you, it sounds so cliche, but did you expect to do as well as you've done? Okay, we feel really strong that we are a really strong team because of the bootcamp. Bootcamp gave us a lot. Right. Yeah, we had a lot, uh, long boot camp before this tournament and we feel power. So, I mean, I think boot camp's a really interesting discussion because whenever we talk about it on the desk, some people just go, boot camp means nothing. Like, I mean, uh, we saw Cloud9 have bad boot camps, we've seen European teams have bad boot camps. Was it literally just you playing in the same room or do you do more? Most part of teams have bad boot camps now. Yeah. Yeah. So you can do boot camps wrong? Of course. You know, the, I don't know how to say, it's... Pretty, this is the private uh, zone of work at the bootcamp, that's why. So uh, for every team, it's private. Yeah. Everyone uh, work on the other, on the different things. We are working on our game, on our quality of the game. Right, right, right. That's priority. The priority was just kind of, so it's not, I spoke to Fnatic earlier and they said like, oh, we're focusing on individuals. You were focusing on... Your whole team as, as a unit. Uh, interesting. I'm glad it went well. Um, so, so my next question has to be simple and getting back into his role. Like, I mean, you have had a fantastic tournament, since, like stats-wise. Everyone of us has a fantastic tournament. Yeah. I mean, it's true. Everyone is firing on all cylinders. Um, so the, the only question, everyone talks about simple with Na'Vi. Do you feel, personally, he is where he needs to be now? Because we said it was going to take a while. Is he in the right role? Yeah, we feel comfortable with him yeah. now. Yeah. We feel that he joined us and he knows how to win now. Yeah. Uh, we found such a kind of synergy, you know, with him, with everybody of, of us. And just kind of a, a different route, just for a second. Uh, Zeus and his performance with Gambit. Mm. I mean, like, it, it, does it make you it happy? Makes me happy. Yeah, yeah, it makes me happy, yeah. really. Because I know him well. I played with him, like, for 10 years. And I wish him only best. Yeah. I mean, it's like when both parties succeed because of the change. I can imagine you sit there with quite a big smile on your face when you see Gambit doing well, right? Yeah, that's yeah. it. But we're gonna play them, if we will win, yeah. we're gonna play uh, them in semis. It's gonna be that is gonna be awesome. Uh, how do you feel about your next match coming up though? Uh, first of the playoffs, who's that against again? I heard that Australia is uh, prepared yeah. really strong before this tournament, so I expect them to play really good. And I'm looking forward to, for this match because I want I always want to play against the best. Yeah, that's why. Of course. Uh, and do you personally believe that Australis are at that level now? Yeah, you do. That's what I mean. Yeah, that's right. Australis are really good now. Yeah. And and it seems to have been a kind of a long process for them. When you were playing against them, so let's say like you know New York time, so three, six, five months ago, did you consider Australis as strong, or have you genuinely noticed improvement? Oh, they had their time because. Uh, they made the line time change. Yeah. They made a uh, really uh, like important move. They kicked Kerrigan. He was in-game leader. It means a lot. It means this is the biggest part of the team. So with Glaive, they just need. They will need time. And they looks like they finally got his their game. You know all about removing an in-game leader, right? I mean. Yeah, I know how it hurts. Yeah. I know how it hurts. Yeah, it really changed a lot. And I mean, that's just kind of one final question regarding that, because it's quite interesting to me. Removing an in-game leader, you know how it hurts. So that decision to, to remove Zeus, I know it's probably not something you enjoy talking about, but I mean, was that really just four people in a room, or five people in a room talking it through for a long period of time? It wasn't a rush decision exactly at all? Like this. Yeah. yeah, everybody, not only five or four, everyone. Every we, we have a coach like Starx, uh, Eugen, like a manager, and uh, there are, the same part of the team, so we had the discussion for a long time before this. It was the big decision. And just like Carrigan with FaZe and Zeus with Gambit, it's worked out for everyone. You guys are doing great so far. Uh, let's see for FaZe. Well, yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> let's see, let's see for FaZe. How it's gonna work for FaZe now? Yeah. No, but in general, in general, it does seem yeah. to have worked out yeah. well for both parties. It's I'm nice happy. to see when uh, the teams like Gambit is growing up, yeah. 
uh, getting much more coolest results. Yeah. It's nice. Okay, one final question before we say our goodbyes, Edward, is who is, you say you're playing Astralis next, yeah. but who is, apart from Astralis, the scariest of the top eight? It's that's it. No one. Seriously. <laughs> A very confident Edward here. This is Yahoo Esports. You can find it over on the app as well. Thank you so much, See Edward. You. Cheers, dude. Cheers.